How do you know who you are to become? Your purpose is the end that caused your beginning. And I want you to understand that your real satisfaction and prosperity will come from discovering and fulfilling your purpose. There are a lot of problems in our world today because people who are meant to fix them through the fulfillment of their purpose have themselves become a problem because of undiscovered purpose. Many are doing what they were never supposed to do. Are you doing what you were told to do by your parents or are you doing what God told you to do? Are you doing what you are passionate about or what God created you for? We were not created to determine what and who we will be and become. Everything has been written concerning us before our coming. No one was created to fail or to be poor because no manufacturer has plans of his product failing. But it will fail and not succeed when it's been used for the wrong purpose. This is why discovering your purpose is so critical. Many times most people live the dreams of other people. One mystery of purpose is that purpose is complementary. When you fail, I am affected by your failure directly or indirectly. God is concerned about a people, a body, a nation, a generation, and not just a single person. Everyone, therefore, exists in time to solve something. What you are meant to fix may be an individual's challenge, a society, a nation, or the world at large. Therefore, understand that your failure doesn't affect you only. One other secret about your purpose is that God moves his grace and provision only towards your purpose. So sometimes the reason why we don't find grace and purpose for certain pursuits is that they weren't what God planned for us. So in order to secure his purpose towards us, he frustrates many of our personal plans and ambitions. Whatever money or riches you are looking for is already within you, sealed as a value or gift connected with your purpose. What will give you real prosperity is not your job or career, but your purpose. Your purpose is not your career, but your career can become a tool or a platform for maximizing your purpose. Unfortunately, some people have abandoned their purpose and are chasing after jobs and careers and things that are supposed to be a reward. The Bible says in Luke that by age 12, Jesus knew what he was supposed to be and where he was supposed to be and what he was supposed to do. So in Luke 4 verses 18 and 19, he declares to his listeners that the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. In Hebrews 10 verse 7, the Bible says, Then I said, Here I am. It is written about me in the scroll. I have come to do your will, my God. What he was up to wasn't his own passion, decision, or ambition, but it was something written concerning him even before his manifestation. Child of God, just like Jesus, God has already made a plan for your life and has your purpose written in his mind even before the foundation of the world. He told Jeremiah in Jeremiah 1 verse 5, Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee, and I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. The same way he ordained and appointed Jeremiah for his purpose, even before he was formed in the womb. That is how he has also planned our individual lives. Therefore, in order to discover your purpose, the first reference is God. You must discover who you are and what God has planned for your life in Christ. The discovery of your true identity, who you are, and the purpose of God for your life is in Christ. Your purpose or assignment is not your decision, but a discovery. And you can only discover it in God because He created you. After the fall of man, the only opportunity that man had with God to exercise his plan was to find grace from God and to receive the Spirit of God. These find their fulfillment in the finished work of Christ, the knowledge and revelation of our Lord Jesus Christ. Outside of God, there is no discovery of purpose. 
the only thing available is ambition and desire and so in 2 Timothy 1 verses 8 through 9 the Bible says that he saved us and called us with a holy calling not according to our works but according to his own purpose and grace which was given in Christ Jesus before the world began the meaning of life is hid in Christ until he is revealed to you your potentials and your abilities will serve self and mammon your understanding about the purpose and call of God will teach you how to live, where to go, and who to walk with. You can never discover your purpose and fulfill it until you begin to walk with Him in obedience. Anything you do outside of Christ only has value in time, but you will suffer loss in eternity. In Colossians 3 verses 3 to 4, the Bible says, For you are dead, and your life is hid with Christ in God. When Christ who is our life shall appear, then shall ye also appear with him in glory. In Colossians 1 verse 16, the Bible says that for him all things were created, things in heaven and things on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or powers or rulers or authorities, all things have been created through him and for him. We were created by God and for God, and therefore whatever we are meant to achieve must be sourced from him. Many are struggling to discover their purpose and are confused about life because they are guessing into what has been finished in God. Peace and security are when you conform to what has been planned. The way to discover yourself in Christ is to be saved. Therefore, salvation is the entry point where a man begins to have access to the mind of God and the things written concerning him by the aid of the Spirit of God. In 1 Corinthians 2 verses 11 through 15, the Bible states that, For who knows a person's thoughts except their own spirit within them? In the same way, no one knows the thoughts of God except the Spirit of God. What we have received is not the Spirit of the world, but the Spirit who is from God, so that we may understand what God has freely given us. This is what we speak, not in words taught us by human wisdom, but in words taught by the Spirit, explaining spiritual realities with spirit thought words. The person without the Spirit does not accept the things that come from the Spirit of God, but considers them foolishness and cannot understand them because they are discerned only through the Spirit. The person with the Spirit makes judgment about all things, but such a person is not subject to merely human judgments. For who has known the mind of the Lord as to instruct him? But we have the mind of Christ. When we place our faith in Christ, God gives us his Spirit and we can then have access to his mind and his plans. There is a purpose of God for every man, whether you are a believer now or an unbeliever. Therefore, the first place to begin to discover your purpose from is God through faith in Jesus Christ. God bless you.